Well, good morning. This is Kim with Porch In It. Welcome to my porch. Uh, this is the night after the big election, or the day, the morning after the big election. And I feel like we need to take communion together and pray this thing through. It's, uh, we, obviously we, as President Trump said, that we won with a landslide. We. It's just incredible. Um, Florida alone was millions, millions. Um, the state of Texas, uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Carolina, all won. There's many. But uh, when I was listening this morning, I realized that the left is really upset and they're being like big babies. And so we need to just take authority over this and we're going to do a communion now so go get your juice and your cracker we're going to take communion and the word that came to me to speak is in god we trust and thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sin as we forgive those who sin against us so we forgive them, but we lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, not to retaliate. For God, thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. So <clears throat> I'm saying this quietly because everybody's sleeping. But today is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And he is Lord, Jesus is Lord over all and thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth so red wins and we already know red won and like president trump said it's an embarrassment to america what the left is trying to do and it's truly a deception and it and it, it's like the the left side is just all darkness it's like they're dark and they have deception and they're walking in evil. It's like black and white. And like the Lord said in Isaiah 60, arise shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord will be risen over you. And deep darkness covers the earth, but God will arise. When deep darkness comes, God will arise. His spirit will arise above. So we rise up with him and we declare thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, as so many of us know that scripture. Um, and we just want to take communion and seal the deal. And we just stand behind President Trump. We stand behind the godly American America. You know, we, we are in America and we stand behind it as united as one thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as one as it is in heaven that we are together united in him and um even the pledge allegiance i pledge allegiance to the flag of the united states the united states of america to the republic for which it stands one nation under god indivisible with liberty and justice for all and this is the things that America stands for, and America has always stood for, is liberty and justice, unity. And the left is really being wrong. They're very demonic. It's like a demonic. It's, it's a, a deception. And I don't know how anyone who's a Christian could even go that way, because all the things that are of God um, are on the the red side, the godly things. So we just claim America right now. We thank you, Lord, for clearing this up, that the deception, everything that is trying to come deceiving will be rec saw, that will come up to the surface and will be, we renounce it now in Jesus' name. All the truth, the things that are truly happening um, God's truth will prevail, but the things that are in the dark, it says, bring to the light. So I pray all the things that are in the dark to be brought to light because 
then they can be dealt with and the truth will prevail, right? So we're gonna take communion and on these scriptures that I've just said, the Our Father that's in Matthew, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, Isaiah 60, the darkness comes on the earth, but God will arise over, his glory will be seen. Um, and then the fact that um, everything will come to, the truth will prevail, um, the scripture, God's truth will prevail. We're gonna look that up. But anyway, I just wanna take communion and seal the deal type thing. And um, let's do this. Let me put this here. So if you have your juice and a cracker or whatever, Okay, Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your truth. We thank you for your way. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sin as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So let's partake. We thank you for your body broken for us. You said do this in remembrance of you. And as many times as we do, we remember you. You told us to take your body, lift it up. We thank you, Lord. We lift it up to you and say thank you for what you've done on Calvary. You, broke, you were broken for us. And as we take and receive your body, we are healed. We are restored. America is healed. America is blessed. America is restored to the beginning, the forefathers, what they stood for, what was fought for. We thank you, Father, for America being blessed. And we receive healing for this nation. We thank you, Lord, that when God's people who are called by the, his name, will humble themselves and pray and seek his face. He will hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. So we thank you, Father, that we, we come to you in humbleness and thank you for your body broken for us. Okay, take the, take the body. Now we take the blood of Jesus. We lift it up as Jesus lifted it up. He said, take this. And as you do, remember me. You, you were poured out for us. You were poured out for us. On Calvary, you were poured out for us. Your blood was poured out. You humbled yourself and allowed yourself to be poured out for us. You were whipped, you were nailed, you were crowned. The thorns on your head, the nails in your hands, in your feet, the, the sword in your side, you did it all for us. The blood in the water, the Holy Spirit represents the water and the blood of Jesus heals us, redeems us, brings us back to where we used to be, where we we, where we began. Lord, you, br you brought America together as a united nation. A God we trust, a land of freedom, a land of love, a land of faithfulness. So Lord, we just thank you right now. We apply this blood to America and we thank you, Lord. There's peace in our land and the left has to be shut up the left has to be quieted, and God, you prevail. Your truth prevails. And we lift up the blood right now and thank you that you pour it out for us, that you pour out your blood, your red blood for us. And isn't that something? Red, one, red wins, red wins, which red did win. But 
We thank you, Lord, for the blood of Jesus being poured out because of all the other unnecessaryness of the left, the unnecessary, their deception and their pouting, basically. We just thank you, Lord, that the blood, the red blood covers America. And we thank you from the East Coast, where I am, down here in Florida, all the way up and down the East Coast, and all the way across America, we just speak the blood of Jesus for everyone, every soul, every man, woman, and child to receive Jesus as their Savior if they don't know, and to receive this healing, receive healing for your bodies, receive healing for your minds, receive receive Jesus, just receive him in America. He is here, he is victorious, he is li alive, and he is he is um, sitting it on his throne, praying and interceding for us with his Father God. And we have the Holy Spirit inside us as we take this blood. We do this in remembrance of you. Take the blood. And so the scripture that came to me about truth is Matthew 6. Talks about the eyes that see if the whole eye, if the whole body is full of light then the truth comes forth the light in your eyes you'll see the truth spiritually you'll see the truth if you're full, full of light if you're full of the word if you're full of God light will come and you'll see perceive truly and clearly but when there's darkness in your eyes that's when you don't see clearly. That's when you don't have the eyesight to see and perceive. And I believe that's the scripture God just gave me about being truth. Truth will prevail. There's the scriptures, truth in the inward parts. There's many scriptures about, well, truth in the inward parts is so wonderful. Such a, script, a scripture for truth in the inward parts. And I'm gonna look that up. Um, but we just thank you, Lord, for Matthew 6 right now because we want to see clearly. We want Americans who don't see clearly to see clearly. We pray for the, for the restoration of their eyes to see so they will have the light of Christ inside of them. And when they have the light of Christ, they will see clearly. When the Word of God is in there, they'll see clearly. When Jesus is first. And so, Father, we just bless America. We thank you for America. God bless America. Thank you for Trump. Thank you for um, Pence. Thank you for those around him, his, their families. We thank you for protecting them. We thank you for honoring them and blessing them. We thank you, Lord, that they're doing this, they're doing this unto you, Lord. Their hearts are to you. And we just protect them, we bless them, we cover them with the blood of Jesus, and we keep them in your arms, keep them safe under the shadow of your wings, that nothing can touch them and hurt them. And I thank you, Lord, that the eyes of the godly people will, will, will see. And thank you, Father, for the truth in the inward parts, that when there's truth in the body, there's truth everywhere. In your eyes and your ears you hear clearly you see clearly what God is saying and showing and we just thank you father for this morning right now and I just wanted to get on here and do this thank you father for truth in the inward parts and I just bless America and I bless the people of God the unity of the family of God and I thank you for the unity for protection over Trump and his and Pence and their families and for America to go strong and be great again, again, tw twice, praise the Lord. And even more than that, I just declare years even after this. And we just thank you, Father, that the left is brought down. The, the spirit of the left, the demonic of the left, it's a spiritual fight we're in, that it has to be pulled down. And the truth prevails that we won by a landslide and all the deception and the trying to deceive on the left side has to be pulled down right now in Jesus name pull it down and let God 
God will prevail. God prevails. Truth prevails in the name of Jesus. And we bless you right now. So we thank you for coming on Porchinate this morning with me. And remember, your words are your way to victory. And keep, keep strong in him. Your words are your way to victory.